So we know DNA genetic testing can give families the closure they've been wanting for decades. But how does all this actually come together and happen? The Forensic Science Institute at the University of Central Oklahoma gave Fox 25's David Chazanoff the full rundown. David, what can you share with us tonight? Adam, step by step, it's a very thorough process. A UCO professor here showed me the expensive, authentic technology they use in class. This is how it looks right here. At the University of Central Oklahoma. We try to mirror our equipment based on what the forensic community is using at the moment. Associate Professor Rhonda Williams has 15 years of forensic DNA field experience. We kind of work in order from this way to this way. In her class, students start out by putting a DNA sample into what she calls a concentration machine. It lets us know how much DNA we have, lets us know maybe if we have degradation because the samples have degraded over time. Then they put the sample into what Williams considers to be a fancy color copier. Push the buttons and it cranks out exponential copies of DNA for you that we fluorescently label. The next step is putting the DNA into a genetic analyzer. The great thing about it is it runs within 45 minutes. It can show you your DNA sample. The equipment you see right here could help solve some cases within a day, depending on the sample. Leslie Perry with OSBI tells me the future of this type of testing is looking bright. I don't know where we're going to be in another two years, but it's going to get um, more research and more money, you know, invested in it. And it's going to become something that we can do in-house. And it's going to be something we can do then on more cases. We'll be able to have more leads generated in ongoing cases rather than these cold cases. Things are definitely looking bright for the future. The OSBI says with cold cases, it's important to take good care of old evidence. Otherwise, the test won't be as effective. Reporting live in Edmond, David Chasnoff, Fox 25 News.